Let's go, guys. Excuse you can say Syracuse Academy of Science Charter School Director Tolga Hayeli is firm. We believe in no excuses. But he's got a firm mandate, get over 90% of their inner city students to graduate with an emphasis on science, technology, engineering and math, also known as STEM. They wanted to create this school, a, a little bit, a little model uh, that will focus on those areas. It's a model they hope to copy when they open the Utica Academy of Science this fall. Every beginning is rocky. Um, and it gets better and better and better every year. It has here. But what should parents expect as it gets better? First off, college prep. And the first question we always ask to anybody in enters to this school, you know, wants to come or brings their kids in is where are they going to go to college? Academic Dean Linda Spencer says you'll have the same regulations as a public school. But we can approach it differently. We can be, our teachers can be creative. They can um, think outside the box and they do. Teachers here say the individualized attention is also a big draw. Some of my 11th grade kids I have now, I had them in 7th grade, and so I, I get to see them progress all the way up. And then there's what they're learning. They're so heavy on the STEM angle, their mascot is even an atom, and you can expect a lot more than sports to make the extracurricular list. So you have to come on Saturdays, you have to work on the spring break, winter break, you have to work longer days. They also have kids pursuing other fields, but Haley says in this modern world, the extra work is the only thing that will cut it. If you have a magic pill, just let me know. I'll like to use it, but there's no one. There's only hard work and you have to go to extra mile. They're still looking for a building for the Utica school, but they are taking applications for grades six through nine in their bold venture. In Syracuse, Andrew Sorensen, YNN.